This video goes out to Craig Collins uh, from uh, Gander. Uh, he requested a uh, that I do a video of a uh, couple Atlantic salmon flies. Uh, the pattern uh, most popular that I uh, sell a lot of is the uh, white wing blue charm. Uh, blue charm, uh, blue charm with a red butt, uh, thunder and lightning, white thunder. Now basically all these patterns, Craig, are tied the same way. Okay? All the steps are pretty much the same. So hopefully this video will give you a basic idea of how to tie them. For our base thread, we're going to be using a uni 8 aught white. I always use white as a base thread. Uh, for the rib or the tag, or some people call it tip, we're going to be using some uh, flat Lagarden oval tent, uh, flat tinsel. Uh, for the uh, butt section, we're going to be using uh, a uni stretch. Now, this is a chartreuse. Uh, normally, I would use a green uni stretch for the butt. Uh, for the rib, we're going to be using uh, some Lagardin oval fine tinsel uh, for the hook i have a classic salmon hook in a side this is a size uh, 10 i think in the classic salmon so it's a fairly big hook uh, for the body we're going to be using some uni stretch black for the wing, I'm going to be using some calf tail. I prefer a calf tail over the uh, calf body because it uh, seems to float the fly higher in the water rather than the calf body. And for the throat, we're going to be using some uh, some blue silver doctor blue feathers. And for the head, we're going to be using Uni A dot. Okay, so that's the list of materials that you're going to need. So now we're going to uh, start the fly. I'm sorry if the lighting conditions is not great. First, we're going to tie on our thread. Right at the bend of the of the uh, behind the bend in the hook, I don't know if you can see it here, but right here there's a gap in the salmon fly hooks. We're going to start right there, and we're going to wind our thread back. Got to adjust that hook. And wind our thread back to just about an eighth of an inch in front of the hook tip. Uh, we're going to stick on a little bit of glue. Then we're going to take our flat oval to our flat Lagarde pencil on the silver side. And we're going to tie that in. Back to the barb to just where the uh, barb starts trim that off tidy up now we're going to create a base of wheat thread for the underlayment of the uh, chartreuse hackle or uh, chartreuse uni stretch you notice that I'm tying off my white thread here. That's because I put all my flosses 
and uni stretch all on bobbins. And the reasons for that is that you don't uh, you don't tear up your floss like that, right? Now, for the floss or the uni stretch, we're going to start right beyond where we started to tread. And you leave a tag about this long, four or five inches probably. And what I do is I wind down about halfway down the hook. And then I come back. And the reason why I do this is I'm building up a taper to take care of the difference in the hook size between where the hook bends around. And also this takes, this creates a, a, a bit of a taper to the body as well. Come back. As you can see, I don't know if you can, if the camera is picking this up. But now I've got a fairly even tapered area. Now the next step is to add a little bit of glue and I bring this tag in here up on top of the uh, hook shank and I bring my butt section is going to start right here right above the hook tip like that okay now we're going to tie on our white thread again and we're going to tie off our uh, stretch now uh, this tag that you had that I had here. So a bit of glue there. We're gonna bring this tag in up over the butt. And the reason why I do that is to prevent uni stretch or normal floss like the four Danville four strand floss, it will uh, if you don't do this, it will flow back over your tip eventually, right? So that's what we do to uh, alleviate that problem. Okay. Now, on this particular fly, we're not going to have a tail. The customer prefer that we didn't have a tail. Uh, but for the tail, uh, normally you could use... Uh, Golden Pheasant Crisp, which is this beauty right here. Okay, now what you would do normally is place that one on the hook like that, and you would let the uh, tip of the tail just pull just beyond it or bend it off okay and you tie that off and follow up through uh with your thread right up to uh probably about eight of an inch behind the high but for this fly the customer don't want that so we're going to skip that step and we're going to jump right to the rib tie in our rib underneath like so now we're going to build up a little bit of the base right here and we're going to tie off our white thread Oops. now we're going to switch to our body we're going to do our body which is going to be uni stretch black Tie that, start the tree, start that right there. 
Give it a couple spins. When you're uh, building your body, you want to uh, just keep an eye on for bumps. Try to make your body as smooth as possible. Just take your time. There's no worry. And then we're going to tie off our uni stretch. We're going to grab our oval tinsel. And we're going to give that a spin. Up the oak. And let's tie it off. Turn our rook over, and now we're going to start with a grab our uh, blue feather. And we're going to select a bunch out of this. Measure, tie that in, like so. Now we're going to get our uh, wing on the go here with some uh, calf tail. Normally you would stack this in your big stacker. Don't use your small one because the hair needs room to uh, move. And you just uh, straighten it out a bit. Measure that up. Clean it up. Dab a bit of glue in the wing. And you take little sections at a time like so build a nice wing a nice head like so Take our whip finisher. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Four, uh, a couple four turn or five turn whip finishes. Snip it off, and your fly is done. Now we're going to take our black head cement. Uh, I'll use uh, waspy lacquer okay this is black and just take your time Like so. Okay, that's your white wing blue charm. Normally, like I said, normally there will be a tail, but he doesn't want a tail. Okay, I hope this helps you, Craig, and uh, good luck in the fly time, and uh, hopefully, I'll hear from you soon. Thank you.